Lagos. My first time being in Lagos. Wow. She's always collecting her share after this work. Okay, the woman, they collect yes. her share. She's always collecting her share after this work. The money is very, very much. So I said that even if she removed the money, I would, I would not feel it because the money is very, very much. So I've been with this man for seven days. Per day, he paid 100K. 100K. And a said, day job, yes, hundred thousand. Yes, ma. He gave me hundred k per per day, and even gave me pocket money. Straight one week, you are getting hundred k. Hundred k. What's up, guys? It's a girl named yeah, Baby. So, guys, today I have this lady here with me, guys. <laughs> things they happen for this life. Be contented with what you have, no matter how small. Let's, as in, there is the joy where you have something that is genuine. Stop looking at people's own. Be yourself. See what this lady has put herself into. Please, let's listen to her story, guys. Now, wow. Don't forget to share this story so others will learn. Please, my sister, don't mention your name. Just tell my audience what you said you want. This happened during December. I met my old friend in the village. So I saw her, she was very looking good. Like she's looking very, very good. So I was like, ah, what business are you doing? Can you introduce it to me? She was like, okay, if you're interested. I was like, okay, please. Because she based in Lagos. Because everything she's putting on was very, very nice and good. So she said, during, after December, we will go. I said, fine. So I told my parents. They, my parents didn't want to agree in the first place, but I told them that, you know, uh, you don't have the financial, like, to sponsor me in school when I finish my secondary school, that they should allow me to go and work. So they were not like, okay, fine, since you insisted, they prayed for me. So after December, I followed my friend to Lagos. My first time being in Lagos. Wow. So, so she, she was the reason you came to Lagos? Yes, because she said she will introduce me to her boss. The boss she's working with that she will introduce me to the person. I said okay. So when I get to the Lag to Lagos, my first like the first week I spent in Lagos, I spent in in his in her house. So she has been going to work. In, she the most time she went to work is in the evening. Like I was like, ah, why are you always going to work in the evening? She said, her work is in the hotel. Like. She, they work in the night, so I said, okay. She's always dressing very, very good when she's going, but when she gets to work, she will change. So after, when she, there was a day she came back from work. I was like, ah, please, it's been long I came to Lagos that she should please introduce me. She said, am I ready? I said, yes, I'm ready. So she gave me one of her wears that when I get to the work, that we change. So on getting to the work, I saw so many girls, like, so many girls wearing short clothes, like clothes. So I was like, what are we doing here? She said, we came for the walk. I said, okay, not quite long we get there. So some of the girls are already leaving. Big, big, big cars are coming to carry them. So I was like, ah, why, what's, what, are, what kind of job is this? She was like, you, you um, is the job for it she did to make money. I said, ah, okay, let me try it. So, so that I'll be able to sponsor myself in school. So she said, um, then I followed her advice that, okay, let me first do it for the first time. But I did it first time, second time. I could not bear it anymore. This, because this is my first time of doing the work. I could not bear it anymore. Please, which work is that? It's hookup. Okay, hook up business. Hook up business. Yes, ma. So I could not bear it anymore. So I was like, I can't do it anymore. Yeah, I stay back home. The money I've, I've keep, so I've been using it to feed myself. She was not like, and you cannot just be staying in my house. You have to go back to the village. I was like, ah, I cannot go back to the village again because I have to also for myself to go to school. So she was like, if you know you, can, you don't want to go back to the village, that I, sh I should continue the work. I don't have any other option than to do it. So I continued. She was not like, she will introduce me again to another boss that I will register. I said, okay, fine. So I registered with this woman and she, she's always calling us for work. Before then, there was, she, before she gave us any work, she will have tell us a day before. So there is this man, this boss gave me to that. Uh, I will go for the, I will go and work for the man. I said, okay, fine. So this man was like, okay, he likes me. 
Okay, you people have boss for this hookup yes, business. Yes, she's always she's always collecting her share after this work. Okay, the woman they collect yes, her share. She's always collecting her share after this work. So anytime I came back, I will give her the money. She will remove her share and she will give me back the money because the money is very, very much. So I said that even if she removed the money, I I will not feel it because the money is very, very much. So I've been keeping this money, sending part of it to my parents. So this man that I work, I, I went to meet the last time, it was not like, okay, I like this girl. So I want you for um, seven days straight. So I've been with this man for seven days. But before the seven days complete, this man has been acting very, very strange. Like, he has been acting very, very strange. So I said, I called my friend. He said, and eh, that's how the work is. So I endured. But now, he wanted you for good seven days. Yes. And he used and to pay you every yes, day. Yes, he paid me every day. And even gave me pocket money that I should use it for my tiffair. That, that one is not part of the money that I'm using for, for my work. Oh. That, that one is just for pocket money that I should use that one to buy anything that I, I want to buy. I said, okay, fine. Thank you. But... Um, after that seven days, I've been feeling so much pain in my stomach, like very, very, a very, very big pain in my stomach. So I understand that I could not, for me to sleep, I cannot sleep, I cannot sit, I cannot stand up. Everything is just giving me pain. So I also tell my friend that, ah, there's this man who, the, this seven days work that I went for, that um, I've been feeling pain after that walk. So it was not like, ah, who is this person? I said, eh, this, I, I explained to the girl. So she was like, can you, can you give me his number? I gave, him, I gave her my uh, the man's number. So the man's was, the, is, the, after then, the, my friend was not like, okay, this man is a ritualist. I said, ow, oh, because I've been working, I've been doing this woke up ever since I came to Lagos and I've been okay. I've been feeling okay after then. But this man, ever since that time that I finished his work for that seven days, I've been feeling a very huge pain in my stomach to understand that I could not eat. I could not sleep. Everything, every time like this, I'm just feeling pain. So now um, I need help because my friend now, she was not like, eh, me that I'm feeling pain, no, this and that. I was like, please, she should just give me some time. She was like, eh, me, I should be going back to the village to meet my parents. I was like, you know, my parents must not know the type of job I'm doing in Lagos that they would disown me. She was like, and eh, she, she, that one does not consign out that me, I should be going. I was like, where do you expect me to go? I don't have anywhere in this Lagos. You were the one that brought me to Lagos. She was like, no, that does not consign her again. So I went to meet my boss. The boss said that I should go and meet the person that introduced Introduce me to her. I said, ah, please, do I? No, no. She, she, she was not like, no, she, that was not concerned that I should go and meet the person. Now, please, I'm begging you, Nigerians, to please have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Oh. Anything you can do for me, please. I, will not, I, I promise you that I will not go back to this job. Like, after I'm, I'm, I'm okay, I will not go back to this job again. Please, anything you can do for me, just help me. What do you want my audience to do for you? I just want this pain. I promise after this pain has gone away, I will look for a better job for me to... Have you gone to hospitals to I've complain? gone to hospitals. Like, they've run so many tests. They said they could not even find anything that is wrong with but me. But please, though, how much did this man pay you for that street one, one week? Per day, he paid 100K. 100K. And a said, day job, yes, hundred thousand. Yes, ma. He gave me hundred k per per day, and even gave me pocket money. Straight one week, you are getting hundred k. Hundred k. So it was even the money that entered my eyes that makes me to do the work. That okay, fine. After that one week, I will stop the work for me to just go to school and um get what I would need for school, do my pro uh, uh, admission process and everything. Not knowing that it is pain that I will use the money to. Uh, Ever since I finished this job, oh, the money the man gave me is not even enough to treat myself again. So the money so, has finished? The money has finished now. The, like, I do not have any money to treat myself again. I do not have any money at all to treat myself. So please, Nigerians, please help me. Help me. If, after this, after I have get through get, get rid of this pain, I promise I will not go back to this job again. Just please, any help you can just send that for me to just get rid of this pain. Please, I promise I will not go back to the work again. Ha! My people, things they happen, no. Hey, God. I don't know why you people are not seeing this thing before you go into it. Somebody, how can somebody be paying you 100,000 for just a night? And you think it's ordinary. It's not ordinary. It's the 100K. 
what this man, maybe what he has taken from your body, what one million naira, and you don't know for straight one week, and now you have already used the money safe in the hospital. My parents must not know like, about this. You Please, need to tell your parents you because me. you need to find out what this man my has. My parents got. must not know about this. They will disown me. Please, Nigerians, please help me. Help me, please. I promise I won't go back to this work again. Please. Oh, wow. So, guys, please, if you know what she can do for the pain to stop, according to her, she can't eat well. She can't even do some things well. She has been into this thing, even to the extent that the, the whole of the money the man paid her, she has useless the money, nothing, nothing. You need to go and find that man. I, I've, been, I've been trying his number ever since then. He's not picking up. He has blocked me. Everything is not even going through again. I don't even know what to do again. I don't know where he's where about. This was my boss that introduced me to him. So I don't know. I, I don't know his whereabouts now. I'll be I'll be <laughs> calling him. He's not he's not picking up. Please, Nigerians, I need your help. Please. Okay, guys, please. If you have any advice for her, drop it on the comment section. Now wow, things they really happen. In fact, things they happen. Thank you guys. Please share this video for others to learn.